Welcome to another Pike and Shot battle. In this friendly match against Nayslit, that the Royalist 1645 against New Model Army 1645. Uh, big hill and lots of rough. We're going to try to rush our Musketeers with no Pike men onto that rough ground. They can be supported by Commanded Shot and Dragoons. I've grabbed Pike and Shot. Veteran Pike and Shot, and also a raw unit of Pike and Shot that is also short of muskets. For cavalry, I have my four units, two veteran and two above average cavaliers, although by this stage, Parliament's cavalry is able to more or less go toe to toe with the Royalist cavalry, so it's not this huge sweeping mismatch from earlier. Right, so here we are, straightforward deployment. Uh, musketeers towards this rough ground, cavalry in each wing, pike and shot in the center, dragoons to evade about over here. All right, let's see force comp and deployment. Oh, hmm, not exactly what I was expecting. Could work with that though. Musketeers towards this rough ground, maybe. He's only got three... No, he's got four units of cavalry as well. Okay. Well, stretch out. Back towards the rough ground. And forward the musketeers. Veterans, do I want to shift? Let's shift you to the other wing and start forming up. Ah, guns are going to be a problem. Next turn. Okay, Dragoons in the rough, Cavaliers over, shift you over as well, and Musketeers will start pushing towards this rough ground. And we'll call that good for now. Next turn. Hmm, he's drawing in. Okay. We'll still try to engage this edge first. Next turn. No reason to advance here yet, I think. Want the cavalry to start working its way around. If 
there, a little closer. Next turn. Okay. One unit of Cavaliers for to try to threaten those musketeers without pike. Some harassment. Hmm. Tempting to just move forward, but I think I will hold off one more turn. Next turn. Yeah, we're just going to have to put up with that, unfortunately. <clears throat> now we'll have to advance because we don't want those musketeers to be able to easily get into the rough ground. So we'll have the infantry we care less about take fire for us. And then maybe close range. Just apply pressure. Damn. Well, we need to go for impact here and hopefully win before we can get flanked. And go, go, go. Next turn. Break. And we're off. Hmm. That's a problem. Single volley disrupt. Zone them in. And then threaten some flanks. Trying to push past some close range fire. Okay, well, you might as well absorb some fire things. You're not good for anything else at this point. Good. They held firm. All right, fire. Damn. All right, turn that way. This is going to be a problem. So we need to hope to not collapse too quickly on the right and hopefully get at least one cavalry unit in behind, but we'll see about that. Next turn. Gonna lose that unit for sure. The question is, what other battle? Oh, oh. 
Nice. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. Whatever. Who cares about them? Yeah, the frag is unfortunate. Uh, get out of close range, waste a bit of time. You. Here. Maybe you can catch them. No, you fail. However, that is a nice position to be in. You can catch the... Oh, nice. We're off. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it, sure. Why not? No frag, huh? You sure you don't want a frag? All right, fine. Even combat, more or less. We're up, what, 13? Yeah. We are true superior, the veteran parliamentarian horses, plus 37. So, not exactly true superior. The veteran musketeers, I think I'll just sit here. If I move up, I'm afraid I'll get flanked. Well, hell with it. Let's move here and just blast them at close range. All right. Uh, so that ridiculousness just ended the match. Let's see if anything happens in pursuit phase. We do suffer a break. There we go. So a little bit of luck in breaking that cavalry unit so quickly there. Uh, I mean, cavaliers are better, but still pretty speedy. And mainly a lesson in the bad things that happen if you don't cover your flank. Uh, this unit was not turned the right way to prevent my cavaliers from slipping around and charging. And that's pretty much what sealed the deal. And in a tiny size match like this, one mistake can definitely cost you. You know, if we're playing a large size match with three times as many units, that would have been a big advantage, but maybe not, you know, so immediately devastating. So, a good game to Nayslid. And, till next time.